bend over. And I don't want to bend over in public. Today we're going to be talking about something that has been talked about by a thousand people as far as I'm concerned. It's all over this place. Being tall. As in, it's a struggle on its own. I'm not extremely tall, like I'm not six foot, but I'm like five eight, five eight five, you know, around there. So I feel like I face the same struggles that a six foot girl would face. No, okay. But anyway, um, the first thing that I want to talk about is being the selfie stick of the group. Guy, this one just kills me. I don't know if it's just me. There is this thing that happens when you are taking the selfie with everybody else and you're the one holding the camera you don't look as good i don't know being tall makes it worse because everyone's like paula take a picture maxi dresses are not maxi dresses you find a maxi dress that you like and it's just, it's just not maxi it's like in the middle it's in the middle of your legs and there is nothing and my mom knows this so much there's nothing i hate like wearing a skirt that's going to be in the middle and she's bought me a lot of clothes she's bought me like a lot of stuff that would just skirts and like dresses that would just be in the middle of my knee and my ankle like just in the middle of the i just don't like it and so at this point i prefer if the dress should be long it's gonna be long all the way to my ankle which is hard to find so gotta wear short skirts the next thing that annoys me the most is being at the back of the line with the mandem you, there's nothing you can do about it. I was in a high school, all girls high school, right? So it wasn't a problem. Even on my graduation, I was at the back of the, I was the last, as in the last in line. But I wasn't so bothered about it. I don't know why. Come to uni, eh? I'm in a chorale. Guys, every time you have to be at the back of the line. And if you look at the heights, you will see that on the, because I'm usually on this far end. If you see the far end and you, level out everybody else there's only a few guys that are taller than me to be honest there's only a few guys that are taller than me and i'm sometimes i'm just like oh wow Paula. now when you have to find pants of my size and of my height of my leg length it just doesn't work to be honest i got to a point where i was just like you know what i'm just never i'm just not gonna shop I'm just gonna I wear a lot of dresses and skirts because it's so easy to get these things and I just don't care anymore because to find pants that are all the way down to my ankle oh lord all the way down to my ankle I'm just like why do I have to go through this I mean sure girls have it easy with these things you go in a shop everything is their size everything starts from their size and I don't want jackups. I want pants all the way down to my ankle. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, right? You can't change it, right? It's fine. It's just, it gets to a point where you're just like, I can't deal with this. I can't deal with this. Um, what's the other thing that I wanted to talk about? What's the other thing about being tall that I wanted to talk about? Shoes. Shoes. I just can never find my size. Ever. I can never find my size anywhere. At this point, to be honest, I don't buy girl shoes. I, my favorite shop is Elsie Waikiki. I do not buy clothes in Elsie Waikiki anymore. Because they have only just, just like size 40. And I'm a size freaking 42.5. I'm a size 42.5, B. I'm... It's not happening for me. To the extent that I go to Bata, and Bata has the shoes. Bata has every size shoe. You go there two days after they restock, and everything is out. All the si My size is out. So I have to go to the men's section and get shoes most of the times. So if you've seen me, I only have a few shoes that I like, girl shoes. I usually wear shoes that are men's shoes. Some are unisex, yes, but 
from the male section from the male section there's no mid section that has like oh unisex shoes male section and so i'm not complaining about being told there's really nothing i can do about it at this point but sometimes it just gets an <gasps> i forgot something jesus christ i feel like this is why i made this video guys i'm from africa okay we have minibuses small buses right for transport especially in my country in malawi we have mini buses for transport if you're tall for you just to get in the minibus you have to bend over and i don't want to bend over in public you have to bend over to get in the minibus lane it's so annoying and now when you get to the seat your legs are suffocating they're just suffocating you walk out of the bus and your legs are numb your legs are just numb. And then to make it worse, most of the minibuses are not high roofed. So you have the roof of the bus over here and your head is like there. So you have the roof on there. Kissing each other, having a good time. The whole journey. And so you have to sit like that in the bus. I feel like that's... I got to a point where I stopped using buses and I was using taxis everywhere I go. As in, I was just using taxis. I was just over it and I was like, I can't do this anymore. I, I just can't do this anymore. Yeah, so like I was saying, these struggles, I mean, it's not like you can get any taller, I mean any shorter, but it's just things that we go through every day that are annoying. So short girls, shorties. Please don't wish you were at all. I mean, it has its own advantages, but at the end of the day, it's just like, sis. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you in my next video, which is probably going to be a vlog, and it's going to be interesting, so you better come watch that video.